dance. No, that was just a one-off trick. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hand. We have Maggie here today and she's in for a hand strip to breed standard style of Border Terrier. I really enjoy doing Border Terriers because regardless of whether they've been neutered or not, their hair really, really comes out nicely still. Um, unless they've been clipped multiple times, but it tends to come back really strong and wiry. So hand stripping is a special technique used on wiry haired dogs and it pulls out the wire hair to reveal the soft undercoat. Maggie here is overgrown, she's blown. This is the technical term for this coat. The way to hand strip is to apply a chalk powder so that the hair is easier for you to grip and you want to hold the hair to make the skin taut so that it's not being pulled like this and you push, pinch and pull and the hair comes out from the root. You want to keep your wrist straight and the motion is just by bringing your elbow in rather than flicking of the wrist because this can break the hair in half which then will entail ruin which will then entail ruin the hair. So if you are hungry Bubba, here's some treats. So a fun fact about Border Terriers is they received their name in the 1880s from being on the border of Scotland and Northumberland and they were used for farmers and shepherds to keep the local fox population at bay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> is this your way of stopping me from working? What is this? Hmm? <laughs> You're super sweet. Aren't you Maggie? Yeah. Hand stripping with the Border Terrier style, their whole body gets hand stripped to the undercoat. The legs are also stripped, also the tail, head, the ears are stripped. What they have is left little eyebrows. The corner of the eyes should be a little bit spiky and they have this circular muzzle and then everything else is quite tight. This area is, always tends to be the sensitive areas. So that's why I like to keep this so I know that I, the hair can be pulled so that the skin is taut so it's not pulling because if I've obviously stripped all of this then I've got nothing to hold on to. So I'm moving on to the tail now but I wanted to speak to you about some fun facts about the tail. All dogs have this gland which is above the tail um, and it's called the violet gland. There is another technical name but I'll leave that one for the vets out there. It's called the violet gland because it secretes the same chemicals as flour, but they're much stronger. And they are used for signaling scents as well. So what we can see is it's this strong hair on top of the tail. So obviously with your wire haired dogs, um, they're much stronger and the hair pulls out so easily. So you might have done it before as groomers, you might have done it before we've been hand stripping the tail and then all of a sudden there's like this bald patch. So when you're hand stripping you've just got to be really conscious of it. So you want to strip the tail, you obviously want to strip that as well, but you just want to be careful not to make it too visible. Moving on to her face now. Border Terriers have a very specific otter shaped head. <laughs> um, so the ears are short and plucked, I've already done one, here's one that I did earlier. Um, so I've already stripped this ear. She hasn't got like long hairy ears, so literally all I did was just pull. And they came out with your ear hair. <laughs> they have little eyebrows, split brows here. So all of this is gonna go split the brows and we leave a little bit of um, hair in front of the eyes. So they do that it's just to protect their faces when they are hunting or searching for things. So they, when they go into bushes, that's there to protect their eyes. Uh, now the top of the head, and what I'm going to do is strip from the brow bone back. So all of this is going to come off. Moving on to the beard, you want to remember that it's circular. So all of this here, again, literally just going to pinch and pull. And here is her face, her beautiful, beautiful little face. She's been sleeping as well. I think she's like the perfect size for a border terrier. She's lovely. And Maggie's finished. We're waiting for her mum to come and get her. And that's it. That's our border terrier hand strip. We'll see you on the next video. Mm.